Sword making has always been an esoteric endeavor. There's never been a great number of people doing it. You have this transformation of raw material, the alteration of nature, and in the end, you get something that just exudes power. This is Valyrian steel. My father's sword. De uråldriga svärden i Game of Thrones, smidda i valyriskt stål, var starkare och lättare än något annat vapen. Ingen vet hur de gjordes. I verkligheten, för över tusen år sedan i vikingarnas land, fanns det också en serie speciella svärd av mystisk härkomst. Och en smed i Wisconsin försökte tillverka ett. This is an Ulfbert sword. From about 850 to maybe early 1200s, in Viking-controlled lands, you had a sword that had a name in lay called Wulfbert which roughly translates to uh, wolf tooth or wolf bear. It's a, a word of power. Det finns bara 350 kända Ulfbertsvärd, smidda med en kvalitet på stålet som inte uppstod i Europa för en tusen år senare. Ingen vet exakt hur de gjordes. I think I've come fairly close, or at least a pretty good rendition of how they made those blades. Steel is a pretty special material. We know a great deal about it, and we know almost nothing about it. So with the Ulfbert, you have a mythical steel mirrored in the Game of Thrones, where you have this steel that no one's able to reproduce, that black Valerian steel. Sword making technology still holds a bit of alchemy, a bit of mysticism in it. We want to believe that there's something that we can't understand. There's still mysteries in steel. Thank you.